few um, invitations. Here, I'll probably be in the back. Hmm? Mistaken me, sure. What is it? That's sure. Then. It's good to see you all here this morning. We're going to get started with 257. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Good to see you all here at Anchor Baptist Church. We're going to get started with 257. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Let's stand and we'll sing. 257. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, how sweet. In Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me deep his healing, cleansing blood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus, just from sin and self to cease, just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious I'm so glad I learned to trust the precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that thou art with me, will be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, pray. Two pages to 259. The rock that is higher than I. 259. The rock that is higher than I. Oh, sometimes the shadows are deep. 259. Oh, sometimes the shadows are deep. And rock seems the path to the goal. And sorrow sometimes how they sweep down over the soul. Oh, then to the rock let me fly, to the rock that is higher than I. Oh, then to the rock let me fly, to the rock that is higher than I. Oh, sometimes how long seems the face, and sometimes how we Let me be. 
happen to you. Yeah, I got you. Wade, why don't you open us up in prayer? Amen. Amen. Well, it's good to be here, for me anyway. I've been out for a while, and uh, I got to spend some time with family down in the mountains. Had to get up in the middle of the night to go let my dog out, and I was warned many, many times that North Carolina is famous for bears. I was very, very cautious. But anyway, it's good to be home. Uh, there's play practice this afternoon at 2 p.m. Uh, for those involved, and Elise will be in here later to tell you about that. Uh, street preaching on the 5th at the courthouse. And there's a finance committee on the 12th. We're not even in December yet, but that's upcoming stuff. So I was reading emails this morning, and um, Monica Gilroy has a friend who's trying to avoid surgery, but may have to have surgery on her back, so she's asking for prayer. She didn't name the lady, but um, just keep that in prayer. Brian Andrus, Steve Andrus' son, has been in a coma for over a month. He's starting to come out. He was, uh, I, they call it a paralytic. Is that the correct term? They paralyzed him, put him in a coma. And uh, he's showing very good signs. And that's, that's, I'm just happy for Steve and family. Uh, keep Dave Borman in prayer. His son died of a stroke a couple days ago, uh, 24 years old. I don't, I don't know what I'd do with a family member. You know, They're supposed to bury us. We're not supposed to bury them. And um, Eddie Redding's dad has uh, accepted the Lord. That's been a long prayer request. Prayer does work, folks. Uh, amen, amen. Just takes, just takes a little... In, in intuition. If you weren't here in Sunday school today, you missed Chuck. That's evangelism, in a sense, of what was happening back then. Um, when you start telling people about the Lord and the church starts to grow, things start to happen. People, you know, if you were to take that Bible and, and have one word to describe it, I think it would be authority. That's God's authority. And the one thing when I was on the police department, old Captain Greg had a lot of wisdom, but he said, you go up to somebody on the street and they're doing wrong and you talk to them and tell them about it, there are usually some phrases that they use that I won't repeat here, but that's them resisting authority. People hate authority. So, crusades. Our crusade starts at the end of the parking lot right here. You then enter the mission field. Uh... The Windmere family, uh, their son was burned. I don't know the Windmeres. Okay, all right. He's 15 years old and burned on 35% of his body. What happened? Did something blow up? Or? Good. Um, I, I'm not a fan of burns. I've, if you ever visit a burn unit, it's a place you don't want to visit. Um, our evangelist, Tim Green, has got to have a biopsy done. Um, he has some, some growths in him, and uh, he'll have that done on the 16th. But he's still out on the road, so keep him in prayer. Uh, 
He's been a faithful friend of this ministry for many, many years, and a personal friend of me for many years also. Glad to have you back, Jalen, Randy. I didn't leave you out this time, Randy, so I don't feel bad. You won't have to go to counseling this week. Um, anybody have anything else? I'm just happy to be here, happy to see you guys. And uh, is it, do we have any first-time visitors? You've been, you've been here more than a week? Oh, my God. I'm glad I was sick. Uh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, the farther we get from God and law and order and things like that, you can expect more of this to happen. Uh, if, you've, if you've listened to the news, the TSA has, has confiscated 438 guns as of yesterday. People getting on planes with loaded guns. Um, Lord's in control. You know, all this stuff happens, it's not a surprise to him. If you read your Bible, it shouldn't be a surprise to you. I don't think he wants you to sit there and, you know, just be run over. Just be aware. This is, unfortunately, normal behavior. So, um, the offering plate's back there. Does anybody have anything else? Okay. Brother Howard, would you pray for the message this morning and the offering? All right, 326 in your hymnals this morning. We're going to sing 326, More About Jesus. Can't go wrong with More About Jesus. 326 in your hymnals. More about Jesus would I know. Four five. Three hundred twenty six. More about Jesus. More about Jesus would I know. about Jesus let me learn more of his holy will discern spirit of God my teacher be showing the things of Christ to me more more about Jesus more more about Jesus more of More about Jesus in his word, holding communion with my Lord, hearing his voice in every line, making each faithful saying mine. More, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, more of his saying. Die 
for me. More about Jesus on his throne, riches and glory all his own. More of his kingdom sure increase, more of his coming prince of peace. More, more about Jesus, more. See the school family's gonna come. Yes, the world bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Why would
just want to be with you.
me anyway. <clears throat> Good to see you this morning. What do you say? Someone uh, would say, why did Joseph do that? I asked him to do it because there's a lady by the name of Sister Pam Ruckman who has a son that has had a sax for years, and Brother Hunter will attest to this. Dr. Ruckman said, if there's one instrument that you cannot make sound spiritual, it's a saxophone. I beg to differ with you, Dr. Ruckman. That was a blessing. And uh, for the time you've had that thing, my goodness, uh, you must go to bed with it within your mouth or something, but thank God for it. Um, Sister Pam asked me if we had a copy, which we didn't, and so I asked Brother Joseph if he would do it again so Billy could copy it. We're going to send her uh, a copy of that. She specifically asked for it, so um, I wanted to make sure she got it. Pray for Sister Pam. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not, the whole time she was here, she cried. Um, a lot of stuff going on. Just pray God will give her peace and help and guidance. And uh, I'm glad to see you here this morning. I know some are off uh, doing certain things and some are sick, so pray for them and pray God you don't get sick. Amen. Well, that's all I've got. We're done for the day. <laughs> Go to the book. You couldn't handle it anyway, Billy. Uh, go to the book of Titus, if you will. A little short book with a lot of impact. This is one of Paul's personal people, people that he's trained, uh, that he's guided. Um, obviously, you know what he did with Timothy the man that he got it, and uh, brethren, uh, one of the things, uh, I was really pleased to see more people go into the, the class with Ben and learn some things. Uh, you know, it's like a, a baby doesn't walk and run the first time it gets up. It stumbles, and you know, when you're a babe in Christ, you need to know how the Lord expects you to walk and get your feet under you. Once you do that, then you're responsible uh, to use that which God has given you. Now, it, this is going to be somewhat of a different kind of message this morning. I don't typically give a ton of verses, but I, I think this morning I'm going to because I want to preach to you uh, about God's amazing grace. Uh, I don't know about you. I, the, the saying out, God, it's God's riches at Christ's expense, and that's probably good to suggest, but uh, it's a whole bunch deeper than that what God has done for you. If you're saved this morning, and I'm looking around, and everybody I see right now, I believe, is saved by the grace of God. And uh, so it would be a blessing for you to hear this. So Titus chapter 1, if you will, Titus chapter 1, we'll begin reading in verse 1. Paul, a servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness in hope of eternal life. Now, if you're saved, it's not one of those kind of hope, I hope I get it, I hope I... No, it's that that's part of your hope. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and what? Amen. So that's your hope. A hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie promised before the world began. Amen. But hath in due time manifested his word through preaching which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. Titus, mine own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus, uh, excuse me, our, the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Now, for this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things with, that are warning excuse me, warning and ordained elders in every city as I have appointed thee. If any man be blameless, the husband of one wife, having you know, faithful children and accused, not accused of riot or unruly, uh, the bishop must be blameless, so forth and so on, as a, uh, 
a steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angered, not given to wine, not striker. You ever seen preachers get angry? <laughs> Good, a lot of knots in there. Not given to filthy lucre, but lovers of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast. Uh, excuse me, holding fast the faithful word, for he hath been given taught that he might be able to be sound in doctrine, both in exhort and convince and gain seers. Go over to chapter 3, look at verse uh, 4. But after the, the kindness and the love of God, our Savior, toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness. You better get that written down in your heart, which we have done, but according to what? His mercy. Amen. Thank God for the mercy of God. Amen. That he saved us. By the washing, regeneration, and renewing of the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, which, is shed, which he shed on us abundantly, how? Through Jesus Christ our Savior. That being justified, how'd you get justified? Isn't that easy to read? I wonder why other people can't get that. Maybe because they have a couple words taken out here and there and it doesn't make sense. And when it doesn't make sense, it's nonsense.